Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Krieger, and this is Alpha Bravo. And in this episode, we're going to look at a few of the big bads in the IDW Comics 2005 continuity. First, we'll look at Turmoil. This guy was created for IDW and was a Decepticon commander known for his ruthlessness. The only toy made for him is the Mastermind Creations Comatus. That was a repaint, remold of the MMC Impactor here. I think it's perfect scale and is spot on for the comics. Next up is the Mad Scientist Jaxus. This guy was a prominent bad guy of the Marvel Generation 2 comics and was the evil science flunky of most of the other bad bosses in IDW. He only got two toys, the Robots in Disguise 2001 that was a recolor of the Universe Skywarp here and the T-30. The T-30 was actually used in the IDW comics, so it's the winner. On a side note, I've seen a ton of cool Jaxus customs out there that came out looking great. I think a Voyager Custom or an oversized knockoff of the T-30 would be a better fit for him. Then there's the evil Decepticon commander that Drift faced down in the Empire of Stone series, Gigatron. Obviously he's the RID 2001 Megatron. This is a great excuse to keep this awesome toy on your shelves. Next up we'll look at the whole other matrix before Optimus, Sentinel Prime. He's been an enforcer, a murder zealot, a jerk and a traitor through the years. While we actually don't have any stand-ins for him, since he didn't have many toys, we do have the Junker in for animated. This is going to be a short segment since everyone except for the Titan's Return gets eliminated for IDW appearance. So the winner is the Titan's Return. We don't have any representations for G1. You'll need a custom for that. Our penultimate character today is the Bounty Hunter Lockdown. He started off in animated and was used in the movies, Cyberverse, and the IDW-verse. For height stand-in, we got the animated lockdown standing in for itself, Revenge of the Fallen lockdown, and the MMC Jaegertron. Leader Sentinel Prime here is standing in for the unique toys Peru Kill. Our recolor stand-in is the Last Night in Hot Rod for the Age of Extinction lockdown. For IDW appearance, we'll get rid of the Studio Series, the AOE, the Q Transformers, the MMC, and the Peru Kill. To cut through the chase, the IDW appearance was based on the Revenge of the Fallen Lockdown. But I think the animated stands in pretty well since the ROTF can be hard to come by. Finally, we're looking at one of the driving forces for the early storylines in the IDW 2005 series. Nova Prime. This megalomaniacal bot was the leader of the Autobots until he turned evil, tried to take over the universe, and wound up plaguing the living world from the dead universe. For the toys, Deluxe Laser Prime is standing in for the base robot of the Make Toys Hypernova, and Classics Prime is standing in for the Superform. Combiner Wars Prime is standing in for the MMC Seraphius Promium base robot mode, and the Superform is about eh, half a head taller. Combiner Wars Prime is also standing in for the S&D kit for the Battle Core Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. My Battle Core Optimus got turned into Thunderclash, so I didn't buy the kit. Anyway, we don't get a clear scale of him, but he looks like he should be a Voyager in his base mode. So, the Make Toys and the TFCC are out. Between the MMC and the S&D kit, I think that either one would do. The S&D kit should be a little cheaper, so that has an edge in availability, but really, I think you could be happy with either one. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see y'all later.